Hey guys, I'm Natai, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. So, quite a few things happened while I was between episodes. Well, I should say nothing happened. I recorded a whole episode, and then my computer shut off right in the middle of it. So, that was interesting, and probably something I should look into. So, luckily I had saved just after the episode, the first episode ended. So it's still the same park. I have been playing around a bit, just sending out dig teams and getting some fossils on the go. So hopefully that sped up some progress. I did some research too. Let's send out another one. Look, we have new fossils in Canada. Right, but I've been sending a couple to the Morrison Formation because I want to get a Ceratosaurus. I think that would be a great thing to get in this episode. And then let's check on our research. Um, do I want to get the clothes shop? Maybe. I did this one. Um, I don't think that's an issue right now. Inventory space. Let's go for the success rate. Alright. Ooh, it's raining. Okay, so our current mission is to incubate and release a Triceratops with a 70% genome. And I am I think we can knock that out. Yeah, so we have a 76% genome here. Um, let's modify its genome, which is something we figured out we could do last time. So let's just check out the arid uh, skin pattern. And then all of this stuff doesn't do too much. I'm not that concerned with all of that, and it does raise the cost of it and decreases the viability. So I'm not going to mess around with that right now until we really know what it does. I've got to look into it a little more. So let's just incubate that. And that should take not long. It's already at 3%. Wow, look at that. It looks all wet. That is awesome. Okay, so the first episode is not currently uploaded yet, so I haven't got names for a lot of these guys just the Fred and Ed of course maybe I should make them all rhyme for that specific paddock let's begin working on our ceratosaurus paddock um my dog is freaking out hold on okay so the paddock I want to place it right here right in this little area. I don't think it needs to be as big as this. This is kind of our herbivore paddock. It's the one we started out with. And I really want to think about um, views. I want to have the entire thing covered with as little viewing galleries as possible. So I think this is the best location for that. Maybe that's a little too much out of the way. I want something on this side of the park. So let's do that right here. So let's get a fence, and I assume we want an electrified fence for these guys. I'm not taking any risks. We know how that has worked out for, well, the other parks. Okay, so I can't really see under these trees. Let's get a curved path, or curved fence. I want to back off from from like the border here so I can fit a viewing gallery on this side. All right, research complete. And probably I'm going to bring maybe that path back and this path back. So start that curving this way. And we do have a fair amount of money. We don't have too much, but good enough. So yeah, we can bring that this way again, and it's kind of just a weird oval shape. It's actually really big. Do I want it that big? Probably not. Let's start curving it back a little sooner. Does that connect? If I just... Okay, yeah. So it's, it's too not curved there. Too straight. 
That is the word I'm looking for, straight. All right, let's just get rid of that. Go back. All right, I kind of wish the trees weren't so dense when you were building. Maybe they like disappear for a minute. I don't know. So yeah, I want it to connect back there without too many problems. And hold on. There we go. All right, so we have our little paddock here. So yeah, not as big as this one, but that's fine because I only plan to house one type of dinosaur. Now we need power. Oh. People like to feel secure. That's our job. This contract enhances our ability to do so. So extract new DNA in the fossil center to increase the dinosaur genome to at least 50%. Um, do we want to do another security contract? Why not? Sure. None of our factions are too low or too high right now, so that really doesn't impact me that much, I think. So we can just grab power from the power station over here. Let's have it run kind of up against the border back to here and then we can have a we can have one right actually we probably hold on hold on probably don't need that because I don't think we'll have anything other than whoops that is not what I wanted to do shoot Delete that. Yes. Okay. Mistakes are expensive, guys. Don't make them. All right. So we want one that far. Then we want one probably here-ish. So that way we can have a viewing area back here and then one over here and they're both covered. So the next thing we want is a creation lab. That is also something that needs to be covered. So, probably right here. That's going to affect the size of the enclosure. Yeah, so I want it out of the way. That is a tiny enclosure. I feel like it's really small. But it doesn't, on the map, it doesn't seem... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it works out. It's an experiment. This whole park is an experiment. If I have to make it bigger, I'll make it bigger. Actually, I'll just do that now. Better to be safe than sorry. Especially with carnivores. Alright. So let's... Okay. Bring it out a little more. Actually, make it go straight over here. And then bring it out a little more down here. And then back. Where does it meet up? It meets up somewhere back there. Over... Oh, no, I messed up. Back, go. Delete, delete. Alright. Hold on. I can hear it connecting. Um, that is awkward. Can I see through the trees, please? There we go. Alright, that works. That's a little bigger. I like that. And back to enclosures, we're gonna need a gate. And our ranger station is right here. That's kind of an awkward spot for it, but I think if we put a gate right up here, it's the easiest access. And then one thing I found is you want to get rid of the trees right in front of your gate so you can, you can see where you're going. All right, so let's clear these out. Or just thin them a little. There we go. 
And then we need a path up here. Just a cheap path for now. We don't have that much money. And that can go... That can be... I like the curve. Let's have it curve up, up to here. And then snake it down. And like that. All right, and then we can do another branch. I'd much rather it go like a V. Maybe I can have it offshoot from here. So have that come up. Like that, yes. And then... And then, okay, let's let's get some viewing vents, viewing galleries. So I want one back here, and probably rotate that, one on this side right here. And that should be good for that. So a path needs to come kind of it needs to not be awkward that's what it needs to be and then curve it back like that perfect and then another path coming out here whoops that's not gonna work my bad all right like that okay so that is that seems good I don't know if it is good let's do some landscaping let's get rid of all these trees we can put them back if we need them Okay, that's fine. So let's flatten let's flatten it to this level. All right, that side's gonna be higher. That's just how things are. And I probably want the back to be a little higher. Right? Okay, and then I can smooth it out, make it all nice and landscaped, maybe have this come up more. There we go. And then, of course, we need some water. Let's make that smaller. We can do a nice little pond like that. Can I have it come under the fence? No, nope. that's sad. Although water and electricity do not really mix, so maybe that's for the best. Yeah, let's have a, like two little ponds. Ooh, I can smooth it out. There we go. That's nice, I like that. Okay, now trees, play some trees. Make the forest come in a little bit. And then have some patches of trees, I suppose. There's already people down here. I don't know what they're waiting for. But they're not going to see much. Alright, I like that. So, one of our objectives, I believe, is to release new species of dinosaur two new species of dinosaur where are they contracts that's what they're called okay yeah so incubate hatch and re at release at least two new dinosaurs so one of them is going to get done with our triceratops 
once we release her. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is cool looking. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh-oh. So yeah, we have a disease, and I had to deal with that off-camera a bit. All I really need to do is call in a ranger. Look at you. So she needs a name. Feel free to drop one in the comments. And let's take care of this disease. Who's diseased? Our first strike. All right. So I need to just call in a ranger team. Add task. Medicate dinosaur. And our food seems to be doing fine. So let's see what we can cook up in this lab of ours. Let's incubate a ceratosaurus. It's at 77%. That's pretty good. So it's attack 77, defense 25, lifespan is 66. That's not bad. Resilience is 26. Viability is 77%, of course. Rating's 84, so that's really, really good. Let's just cook up a normal Ceratosaurus. Of course, she's going to need a name, too. And let's watch this Triceratops get healed. I think, I think I could control the Jeep and heal it myself. I might try that the next time there's a sick dinosaur. So, yeah. They are not very accurate. That is something I know I can upgrade. So let's check on our research. I did research, not, not buildings, building upgrades. So I did research uh, scheduling, which allows one additional task to be assigned. We might want to check out accuracy. There we go. And we do have some gene research we could be doing. All right, so we completed our first mission. That seems like one of five. And I guess if we get all five, we are completely science. Oop. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. They can't ignore this accomplishment. No, they I can't. Help, obviously, that goes without saying. But under my direction, I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. All right. I witnessed Dr. Do a flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Hmm. All right. So we got a thousand or a million dollars, not a thousand dollars. So we need a new mission, I guess. Uh, our factions seem to be doing pretty equally. We're lacking in the science department a little bit. But then entertainment and security are equally tied. We have two security contracts, though. So we need to extract new DNA in the fossil center to increase the dinosaur gene to 50%, and then incubate and release two new dinosaurs. Um, I think we're one out of the two for that. Are looking great. That is great. Let's send an expedition out. Um... Let's head out to Canada, get some Edmontosaurus DNA. All right, and that is all great. It is raining. That is not great. Oh, I'm so excited to see our Ceratosaurus. And then let's get some guest amenities down here. Do we want an ACU center? Provides rapid aerial response to park incidents. I think it is similar. Okay, so we can... This can... Our ranger station can medicate dinosaur... Whoop. An offer just came our way. Don't let it sit too long. All right, that's pretty easy. We're already doing that, so... Let's just accept that contract. So I think we want an ACU center pretty soon. We don't need one right now. Yeah, I think we want some guest amenities down on this side of the park. We don't have much. 
Maybe a hotel? We don't have one of those. We can kind of... Ooh, theater needs resupplying. We can kind of shove it in this corner. The last thing you Maybe. want is hungry dinosaurs in your park. Use a Maybe ranger not. team to resupply feeders. Oh, we can put it over here. Maybe if we get some land there. Or we can put it off actually over here seems great. The only problem is the terrain. Oh, no. There we go. So that will use up some space. And then let's use a ranger team to resupply our feeder. How do we do that? Right, R. Ranger team, add task. Feeder supplies inbound. There we go. So I just saw we could buy a brand new ranger team, which would be cool. Oh, by the way, something I completely forgot to mention. Let's drive the ranger vehicle. I don't know if I did that in the last episode or if that was something I did in the last episode. Whoa, slow down. All right. So we can resupply this ourselves. And then, how do we do this? Resupply. There we go. So we can take pictures with F. Zoom in on things. Which is pretty cool. Um, but something I was... I was just messing around between episodes. Getting this thing... Testing at the limits of our ranger vehicle. And I was kind of just drifting around. And I unlocked... Whoop. Contract. Thank you. I unlocked a skin for our ranger vehicles. A blue skin. It seemed. There we go. Yeah. 2018 Jeep. And unfortunately, I did not pre-order the game. How do I apply it? I did not pre-order the game. So... Why is it not... Maybe it needs to be in there? I don't know. I didn't pre-order the game, so I don't have that skin. The special orange skin. But whatever. Doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, so... Is our Ceratosaurus ready? It is. Let's check this guy out. You got a knack for solving problems. Oh, That's a man. Skill, especially around here. That is... Awesome. She is hungry. Oh, I need to get a feeder in. Ooh. Oh yeah, let's let's feed her real quick. A carnivore, I see. This time a ceratosaurus. Distinctive spines that run down its back. There are a bladed horn on its head. Just what you don't want to run into when you're out there alone. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. Security mission. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. All right. So we get Storm Defense Station research and $1,000. Or I keep calling it 1000 It's a million. Same thing. You know, I'm, I just have so much money I can't keep track. I mean, we're already getting a Montasaurus DNA. That's where we sent our dig our dig team. I'll do it. I'll do it. But first, really quickly, we need a feeder. Let's just Glad go with the basic board. carnivore feeder. That's imagine, interesting. The animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. <laughs> All right, so I just noticed. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. I just noticed that depending on the... Okay. Ah. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. 
depending on where I wanted to place the carnivore feeder, it costed, it costed, it cost a different amount of money. Here's our Ceratosaurus, oh man. She is beautiful. I love it. Alright, you eat up. We'll get you a sister soon. I don't know if we want to get one right now, if we're ready for one. Let's send out another expedition, get some more Edmontosaurus DNA, and then, oh wow, skin impressions, not bad, uranium, so let's extract this, oh, we're already over 50%, clearly, because we already have one, so we need to incubate and release another Edmontosaurus. We can do that. Let's check out the arid skin for it. Oh, we don't have one. That's all right. Do we want to check out the other stuff? That'll boost the attack and the resilience and the rating. Let's go with the intuitive learning. And then we could do Cardio Strength. That won't do much for rating, but Lifespan, it it does a lot. All right, so that is great. Let's incubate that. And then pretty soon we'll have that checked off on our mission. Now we need an ACU center. And then we need to research Reload Speed 1 for our ACU center. So let's get the research going. Because that is available to us. That is not anywhere near what we want to be doing. ACU center reload speed. There we go. And then let's get an ACU center. Here we go. So we're going to need power wherever we build it. I think right here is a nice place. And that's just in that little power bubble. Which works perfectly. Oh, and we need another power station. Because we are running low. That's... We could do something funky with the path, but I think we're just gonna... Do a straight shot. Whoops, that is not the right button. Alright, so let's get some more power to our park. And we are running low on money. I just noticed that. That is not how we get more power. That is how we use more power. So that is going to cost us a lot of money to get this power station up and running. Um, hmm. Can I fit it back there? Nope. Can I fit it off here? Also, nope. Our Edmontosaurus is ready to release, which is awesome. But we need power so we can... Actually, let's shut this building down. There we go. And that will save us the power for now. So let's release this Edmontosaurus. Man, this game is actually much better than I was expecting. I kept my expectations pretty low, and so far, I've had lots of fun. Awesome. Cool, so our research is done. Let's see if we can research additional power output. Let's sell this stuff to get some money. And, yes, power power upgrades, reduced upkeep, that's not bad, outage protection, improved output, that's going to take three minutes. Can I extract this stuff? Yeah, it's not going to cost too much. And increase a new genome to 50% is another mission. I don't think we have a new genome to increase. Oh, wow, that's a nice profit per minute. This park is actually doing pretty well. 
I want to just take a look at our Ceratosaurus again. Oh, you are amazing. Look at you. So I think once I get the power working and this mission completed, I'm going to end the episode there. It's been a nice episode. Very eventful. We got a Ceratosaurus, of course. We dealt with a little disease, as you do. And we expanded the park. I like that. Let's take a look at our map. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of room left over. I, I'm not that big a fan of having all the pre-built stuff. I'd much rather have started off on my own. Because that makes every beginning, every new beginning the same. But I get, I get the whole tutorial island idea. I like that little lake. I'm going to keep that as building free as possible. Alright, is our research ready yet? Two minutes. Two minutes. I've been really impatient, as I typically am. But we can send out another team. So we need more expedition centers if we're going to unlock more dig sites. We do have a dig site. Oh, that's for Ceratosaurus. And we do have one all the way in China for Huang Yangosaurus. That is not one we have, so let's let's check that out. And I probably butchered the dinosaur name. That's just something I do. It's something I'm actually very good at. Okay, where's our Ceratosaurus? So she definitely needs a name. Maybe a friend. Maybe next episode we'll get her a friend. Now that we have an ACU team that can deal with any potential issues. And then, can I just check on my dinosaurs to make sure their stats are fine? Oh! We can always use a few more resources. Here's our chance to earn some. All right, we can do that next episode. That sounds like a nice little... There is a new contract available. A chance to create a photographic record that yeah. will be an invaluable resource to the team. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for next episode. I just said that. Okay, so it looks like we can unlock the next island at three stars. And our research is done. Can I check out... I just want to see how my dinosaurs are doing in a list. Whatever. All right, let's let's do this research stuff. Let's set up. I always click building instead of building upgrade. I want to research the reduced upkeep. All right, so we have increased power. Let's increase the power. That's going to cost 40,000. That's not bad. And then let's do that over here, too. All right. So that is using up those one of two slots. Hopefully we can... Oh, that's the helicopter. We can name the helicopter. Okay, hopefully we can activate that now. Right. Awesome. This next bit is going to sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are going to encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. That? Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. Sounds amazing. And it sounds like something you're going to have to check out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. L please, please, please let me know if you want to see more Jurassic World Evolution. Leave a like if you do. But for now, I've been Itai. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.